Hello. In this showcase of tutorial, I will show a new handy tool to bake the animation created by the plugin and how to easily export it to your favorite game engine or real-time application. In this case, we'll use Unreal Engine. I took this nice low-poly model of a bakery created for a game and quickly made this animation using Showcaser. Let's open the plugin. With this button, we select all the animated objects in the scene. They are 45. This is the new Bake Animation tool. But first, let's see how these objects are structured in the scene. The plugin works by creating a parent dummy for each object, which uses list controllers for the position, rotation, and scale tracks to place the animation keyframes. With the Bake Animation tool, we can easily get rid of all these dummies and directly assign the animation to the objects as simple position, rotation, or scale keyframes. So, with the objects selected, let's open the tool. It comes with some handy options. You can set the desired animation range, choose to keep the dummies or not, add a root dummy, in this case, I'll leave the options by default and check Add Default Transform on First Frame. Since we don't see the animated objects on the first frame of the animation, and this can cause troubles in other softwares, we tell the plugin to place the objects in their default pose on the first frame for safety. This initial frame can be removed or skipped later. Let's press Bake Animation. It does the job almost instantly. I used the option to create a root dummy. For Unreal Engine, we need to organize all these objects as if they were animated bones in a skeleton, so we need a root dummy. Let's see the structure now. All the dummies were removed. The room is a separate static object. So I will link it to the root dummy so I can export all together in a single file. Now I select all by double clicking the root dummy. Let's export this to an FBX file. Unreal Engine usually requires to export separate files, one for the mesh and skeleton, and one for the animation. But in this case, we can have it all in single file. Let me show you. I have created a preset with the options required for Unreal. We want to export both geometry and animation. None of these options is needed. No cameras, no lights, no audio. Embed media, checked. We want to export the materials and textures. The rest of the options are the default ones. I found FBX 2018 version works okay for most of the softwares. Here's our file, bakery.fbx. In this case, it's very light because there are only low poly meshes and a few small textures. Let's go to Unreal Engine. Here's a blank project. Let's create a new folder called Bakery and drag our FBX file there. At the Import Options, you can leave all the options by default and check Import Animations. As you can see, there's a single skeletal mesh instead of a lot of separate meshes, which is more convenient in our case. Unreal automatically created the animation sequence, physical asset and skeleton, and there's the materials and textures. These warnings are not important and cause no harm.
Let's see our model. It looks really nice already. In order to see the animation, we first need to assign the skeleton to the mesh. And now let's play the animation. It looks fantastic. And this is how you bring your showcaser animation into Unreal Engine. For other softwares, it may be even easier. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you soon.